Well, Russ, we, we'd normally be uh, talking on a Thursday, looking ahead to to a Saturday game, but I guess it, it's a real kind of summing up of times, really, that we're having to, to take stock and, you know, we're all kind of uh, taking care of ourselves and each other, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Obviously, it's been a, it's been a tough week for the club. Uh, um, so for health and safety reasons, we've had to shut the club down uh, and we won't be back in now until um, a week next Thursday. And I suppose, as you mentioned there, because I think the connection was ever so slightly dicey there, the fact that, you know, quite literally, isolation is the idea because it, it prevents it getting any worse, hopefully. That's that's the idea. Yeah, so uh, we've had numerous uh, NHS track and trace um, to every player at the club and every staff member. And, you know, uh, you know we, we have to isolate now for 10 days as a group. Um, the good thing with the club, we've got you know a, a, a COVID officer, we've got a club doctor who are very uh, much in um, full contact with the national league, and you know the dialogue's been really, really good between the both parties, and um, and that's our stance really. I guess football does very much take a, a back seat at times like this, and we all kind of understand that. But it kind of also sums up the season, and that it, it's another instance of it being stop start, isn't it? Really, we've never really had the momentum of maybe a good ten or so games without interruption. No, it's it's quite sad. Really. We're coming up to probably two weeks away from halfway through the season, which has been delayed anyway. And we've only played fifteen games. Um, there's four months of the season left. Uh, in two weeks' time, and uh, I think overall we've had seven games called off, whether it's been snow, frozen pitch, or COVID cases. Um, what's to say there isn't going to be another seven cases um, in the in the latter part of the season? Um, but I can't control that, and neither can the lads. And we've just got to crack on and take each game as it comes. And all you can try and do is win the next game. I know. Again, as we said, football does kind of take that back seat. So I appreciate it doesn't seem as important just now. But I guess you would have really liked a game on Saturday as well to kind of um, kick any lingering disappointment from last weekend out of the system. I suppose. Of course, you, you after any defeat, you want to you want to play as soon as you can. Um, you want to put the wrongs to right and and, and just get over it. Really. Um, like I said in my post-match interview, there was a lot of positives from last Saturday, um, but there were, there were a few negatives as well. And, and everyone dwells on the negatives in football. Um, it's just It is what it is. Um, but like you said, we take stock. It's been a tough week. Um, and with, with COVID now, it's, it's a time to reset and, and, and go again. And is that kind of the message that you have been able to get across to the lads? Because in fairness with the first lockdown and when everything was shut down and you were doing a lot over Zoom with the boys, I guess you're kind of used to communicating this way now. It's not a new thing, which is nice. Yeah, I think this is what this one's worse now. It was quite a novelty at the start when it was new to everybody. The sun was out um, and you go through the summer months, you're looking forward to the start of the season. When you're in the, in the, in the middle of the season and you're doing well like we are, uh, you just want to be back out there playing. And it's... Uh, it's, it's not in a professional footballer's um, mindset to be stuck in the house for 10 days. It's just, uh, it's, it's not normal. It's not natural. But we're doing it for everyone's best interest. So uh, we, we know why. And the key thing as well, the club's always been very vocal about the support that's out there from the likes of, of the Kaleidoscope Plus group in terms of um, lads' mental health and the mental health of the entire country, really. It's important to keep a check on that as well, isn't it? Oh, definitely. And we, we've got great support from everybody. Uh, we, we try and do something every day, whether it's uh, just a, um, a, a good morning, a good evening, a meet and greet, a, a couple of Zoom meetings. Um, we might have a few tactical sessions. We might have a quiz. Um, and you, you've got to be in constant lingo with all the lads um, because there are 25 um, lads, including staff members in the squad. And um, it's my... As a manager, it's my duty to keep them to keep them happy and well. Obviously, it's a fluid situation, but as things stand, we'll be looking to get back to action at, at um, Bradford next weekend. I, I suppose the lads, good willing, will, will be coming back, raring to go. Would be an understatement, wouldn't it, after this break? I think so. You know, I won't. I won't really have to get anyone out of bed on that Thursday, Friday morning. I think they'll all be there an hour early. Um, raring to go. Um, like I said, we've got to put the wrongs from Gloucester uh, right. And um, after after a 10-day spell um, on the sofa 
and in their own house with the wives, the girlfriends and the parents. I think they'll be edging to get out there. And just lastly, a note obviously for our supporters, the vast majority, of course, will be um, indoors, staying at home, as we're all having to do just now. And just a note to them to say, obviously, thanking them for their support, not, not, not only, but to look after themselves as well. Yeah, it's strange times. And, of course, the one sour note for me this season is I haven't been able to um, be in touch with any fan um, I get a few comments via Twitter and a few texts, but that's it. You know, it's I've got a real good rapport with a lot of fans at the club. Um, I love to mingle with them before games and I love to mingle with them after games. Uh, win, lose or draw, I'm always there. And that's one sad thing for me this season is that uh, I haven't been able to um, to do that. Well, uh, I know their support is there. Um, I don't need them to tell me because they are kiddie through and through. And the hardcore are always there and I've been there since I've been part of the club 15 years ago. So, um, you know, the good times will, will, will come uh, on and off the pitch and hopefully it's not too far away.